uh, my relatives uh, asked my wife, uh, how do you charge an EV in a small town or on a farm? They're confused by that. And their son right. lives in a small town and owns a Model 3. So I don't understand why they have this confusion <laughs> and why they're going to my wife and why they why she sort of uh, struggled with it. Um, th the simple answer is you plug it in. Uh, I guess this implies that they think that you need a giant super connected to God uh, charging station uh, that runs off of lightning in order to charge your car. And that's not the case because these people, I think, to, they just assume, and maybe people listen to the show, some of them will assume that, you know, electric car takes a lot of juice to move a big vehicle down the road. You must need a big power. But I actually charge one of my electric cars with a household outlet, which is called Level One. And uh, although I just use the car around the city and it's got a fairly small battery, it works pretty darn well. I'm finding, I'm, I'm surprised it actually charges too fast because when it yeah. gets really cold into the minus 20s like it did in Celsius last night, well, then it just keeps charging because it's running the heater and I get 100% and I don't really want it to sit around at 100%. That's not the best thing for older cars. Um, yeah, so that's that's one thing. But basically, it's like a home. I assume they have electricity on the farm and in small towns, you, you would plug it in. Um, I'm assuming also that you would have uh, longer commutes if you're driving around out there. You're not just going to the grocery store, you're doing longer things. So you probably want a level two, which is 240 volts, which is easily uh, done if you can uh, spend a few dollars having one installed. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to, uh, you know, depends on what your use case scenario is. But as farm equipment electrifies, and they have no idea that that's coming, uh, you know, you're going to want 240 or even, you know, a good amount of electricity uh, coming in off uh, the line there. Yeah, I think sometimes people, I don't know, they don't really want to know the answer when they ask a question like this. It's just a thing like they assume it's not going to work, yeah. but you know, <laughs> people are going to have to tell them a dozen times before it sinks in that, oh, you just plug it in because that's not what they're expecting to hear.